get pulled. I know I'm a day early, but since it's so quiet and so mute and so demure out here in the world, since so it's Trump won again, child, I had to hop on here. Plus, I'm feeling a little active, okay? I had went to uh, the colonists, right, to their hospital, because, you know, I have to use their machinery. But, baby, this woman, I wanted to hire her. Mm-hmm. She was a pregnant woman, and she just asked me the symptoms. She said, I'm going to be right back. She came back and named it because I already had looked up what it could have been. Can y'all believe I had a pinched nerve in my neck like somebody been giving me that business at night, and I ain't making the motherfucking thing nothing. Ain't nobody gave me nothing. So that's the only thing I can think somebody got a pinched nerve. Like if you ain't had a car accident, what the fuck is you doing with your neck? Besides getting ran, like, smack down. Like, he just got you bitch shut up. Like, that type of type of shit going on in y'all bedroom. And my, my, bed, my bedroom ain't been given that. <laughs> well, baby, that lady made me take 72 pills. Then I'm sitting there. I'm like, okay, so what's this? Gabapentin, I heard that before. So I was like, okay, 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 bitch. So I took that. Then I'm like, what's this little thing? She was like, Tylenol. I was like, oh, this that triple X rated Tylenol. Like, that's that hospital Tylenol that tastes like a narco, ain't it? Mm -hmm, girl. So then, and it was another one, a muscle relaxer. Don't worry about it. Take it. It's none drowsy. Don't even worry about it. It's none drowsy. She just kept saying that. Oh, the gabapentin was a muscle relaxer. Whatever. One of them was a... Uh, Pain, the Tylenol, the muscle relaxer. Oh, God. <laughs> what? What? Damn. What was the name of that other pill? This is Gabba Pen. So that was a Gabba Pen. Here it go, right here. Because I said I'm telling these bitches, yeah. Meth, meth, carbomol, whatever. So, I don't know. See, shit, I ain't taking no more. I ain't taking it no more. I said it. I took it to get out of the hospital. But baby, when that lady came over there and put that lot of cane on my back, I was like, oh, oh, oh. I'm like, I could go back to work now. They was like, no, yeah, you need to go home and sit down. But she had me punch them pills in my dog on my right? So I go to the pharmacy in the main office. Me in the main building waiting on my medicine. Do y'all know, I woke up and felt like I traveled 30 rams. Because I woke up, didn't know I fell asleep, never was the plan to fall asleep. I woke up, I'm so mad that I woke up like that. I woke up and looked around and see it was an old lady to my left and an old lady to my right holding the cane. And I'm looking around like, I wanted to say, who the fuck is y'all? Like, it did, but I couldn't because I'm like, where the F am I even at? Child, I'm sitting up here still in the damn pharmacy and I need 33 minutes to pass. <laughs> and this bitch that told me this medicine is not drowsy. Girl, no. Nah. That just goes to tell you I'm going to be taking the calling this medicine. I don't take that mask. Why would they take me out like that? Took me clean out. Then I got home. Oh, baby, I got home since I was superwoman with my arm. Because of that, that, that lot of cane. Lot of cane. Man, them must. Mm -hmm. In a minute, somebody about to say they got uh, skin cancer from them. Lord have mercy. I'm about to sell them too, though. Little do y'all know. But uh, I'm going to have two packs on reserve. The rest of them bitches getting sold. But, um. I thought I was about to come home and do all of this doggone shit. Do you know I was knocked up? I went back to sleep. Then when I went back to sleep, I woke up at like 7 something. And I'm like, dang, I'm late for work. I'm, fuck, I'm late. I'm like, but they already know what's up because they let me go home because of the situation. So I'm telling them I was chopped and screwed. I was high as hell. And um, then I heard somebody in the shower. I was like, if this little girl waits till 7 a.m. to get in the shower, I'm kicking her down the stairs. And it wasn't even her. It was my son and my daughter wasn't even here. So you ever woke up and thought it was the next day and you still in the same dimension? <laughs> you still in the same 
you was you still in yesterday and you thought you was in the next day baby i was still in yesterday But your girl had a cervical pinched nerve in the neck. The neck cervical. Because everybody instantly go to their vagina. This don't have nothing to do with your vagina. This is the cervic, cervical area of the neck. Look it up. Look up a cervical pinched nerve and see what I was going through. All of the pain and the agony. Mm -hmm. And I was... Uh, I was I was uh, expressing explaining the pain to my senior supervisor. <laughs> you know the people you explain shit to them they curl up like ooh ooh ah ah. And I told them I was like and it's this pain shooting up my back and it feel like the side of my back is big it's like the hunchback. And shit. I was going through it. I was going through it. But I'm back and my ass got big uh, cute face and a cute look at this. Look, look at that, look at that, baby. Oh my God, how did this just happen to this? The star and the fox, look at this fox looking at happiness. That fox is looking at fucking happiness. That's, oh my, spirit and ancestors, get in here. This remind me of the bitch at my job. What the fuck is that? Oh, Cyrus whipped her ass because she got an attitude, right? I'm starting to learn what Cyrus be doing. Cyrus be whipping her ass. She got an attitude because uh, I didn't give her no treat. So she went and pissed in front of the litter. So Cyrus smelled her ass, went back and smelled the piss, smelled her ass again, fucked her up. Mm -hmm. Choked her out, and I let her. And this time, I let her. Bloody truth, healing, God, and self protection, spirit, and ancestors for cancer, Leo, cuz, and my cookies. And I miss y'all so much. I miss y'all so much. Oh, so look, I gotta tell y'all. Did I tell y'all about the knock in my room? Oh my God, somebody was knocking in my room. But they did not, when I knock, they did not back. I still been waiting on these people to knock. <laughs> I be honestly, I be looking for the ghost in this house. I ain't find no ghost in this house. That they ain't came out. They ain't saying nothing to me. No, I don't even see the cash chasing nobody around here. I ain't seen shit. I ain't even seen a fork misplaced. I ain't even see a piece of chicken eat. <laughs> I ain't seen nothing, y'all. I ain't gonna even lie. I haven't seen a damn thing in this house. I just scared of moving myself to death. What's going on, boos? How y'all doing? Turn up. Okay. This gonna be a late night reading. Because, you know, my uh, truck drivers and shit like that, they be needing shit to let do, too. So, I'm gonna be doing my hair and cooking at the same damn time by doing this reading. Okay. I'm gonna probably go over there and get some more readings. We got a coffee here. And a heart. I'm only taking this coffee because of how it flew out. It was like upright, twisted, fell down. Give me some energy for Cancer Leo Cup. Come on now. Y'all asking, got pregnant. Nope, let me put it how it was. The coffee was upside down. I think he's trying to clean up, but I already cleaned it up. Sorry. It's a child here. Y'all done got pregnant or somebody done set, no, y'all pregnant. Some of y'all done just had a baby. Some that's done finished because your ass pregnant. Ooh, this is somebody you probably like, I'm done with. It's over. Ooh, look at you, and now you at the crossroads. Ooh, and they just, they didn't, what happened? I don't even know if the abortion's going through a state level. See, that's another thing I don't like. See, it's one thing not to like the man and what he stand for. I get it, but it's, it's another thing to manipulate the narrative. To get your way. And that's what Harris did. She manipulated the narrative around the whole uh, abortion shit. Because that's literally at the state level. Direct that towards your governor. Okay? You know what I'm saying? Point that shit out at your motherfucking governor for not allowing abortion. And then point that shit out at your hot pussy ass friend that keep having abortions. By niggas who don't want to be with her. Oh, I said it. Mm, don't hurt yourself.
Because before this was even a thing, I was protesting with them bitches because a friend of mine, with my son, Godmother, I told y'all that story, that bitch had five abortions. Stinking stupid bitch. I couldn't stand her ass for that. Period. And the moon is in reverse. Hey, boy. Hey, big fella. He like, huh? Huh? Ooh, what was in your stomach? Is you pregnant? You a man pregnant? Come on with your big ass. Don't tell me you got a hernia in silence, because I can't take... What is this, bro? Oh, it shrunk. Little ass gritty. That's another little girl beating your ass, ain't it? That little girl, this little girl be beating the F out of Cyrus. I gotta reevaluate this situation because when a cat corrects a, a younger cat, it looks like abuse. And when a male does it, it looks like he's molesting them. He don't. It's correction. And I gotta get that through my head. But this girl is obsessed. She worse than Priscilla. The coffin, something is dead. Something, somebody, some of y'all didn't wind up pregnant with a child by somebody who you thought you was done with, you was over, and then now you at the crossroads trying to move on from this motherfucking situation, this person, place, and thing. But some of y'all, it's a child here, it's a child coming, it's child related. The moon is re is in reverse, so it's no fear around this crossroads. It's like you done made the decision to go head on with this crossroads situation. You decided, or you or someone else is at a crossroads. Somebody could be stuck between two people and they choose the person that's having their child with this guy. I don't know. You know people weird like that. I don't know. That's To me, that's stupid. I feel like just because this person is pregnant, that don't mean dismiss the person that's not because you still have emotions for that person. I prefer somebody to go towards where, where they really happy at instead of just towards the person that's having a child because they're going to constantly sit back and reminisce about that person that they're happy with. The only bad thing about the whole situation is the person with the child going to be so hell bent and focused on trying to be a family that they were sabotaged by any means necessary. Uh, Justice, get out of his face. Leave him alone. Let me tell y'all what I did. So first I let the girl in, right? Cyrus just turned his head like, whatever. I let the boy in. I let her brother in. It got active. It got crumped around this bitch. And right, right, right before they was about to link up, the, the paws was about to hit each other. That other nigga was like, he was a bitch. And started walking around Cyrus. I don't know why. That, that's, the, that's the mentality he gave me. You know, an outside cat comes to an in, indoor cat, and they, they think they're a hoe. See, Shaka was an in and out. He, he, he can come home and be the sweetest little thing like that Cat Maxwell when his owner picked him up and put him in that basket and took him to the suburbs. I was like, the audacity. But then she came to work and dropped the cat off in the doggone hood. He terrorized the hood. That was Shaka. See, Cyrus has always been a house cat. But Cyrus was like the best fighter out of all of his sisters and brothers. The only person really ever put Cyrus down was his big sister. Even his big ass brother couldn't put him down. He had a big fat brother too. But uh sister was the only one that put him down. Sister was so sweet. She never really wanted to fight. But she'd get you together. Mm -hmm. She'd finish it. Maybe. That, like me. Sister was like me. Like I don't want to fight. I don't want to be involved. I don't want nothing to do with it. But if it got to come down to it. I'm going to finish it. Now. We're going to do that. Give me a card for this confidence for cancer. Leo. Ah. Oh, look at that water fountain. Isn't that edge of my... Oh, I love it. Don't you just love it, bitch? I love it. Now I just talked to a cousin I ain't talked to in months. The Queen of Wines at the bottom. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Then I said somebody at the crossroads to somebody else. What is it? What is it?
this shit? They have the crossroads with somebody else. And it's, it's, it's fear for a reason, but I don't know why. It's a release of fear for a reason, but I don't know why. I don't get it. keep hearing revenge but tell me about this coffin in reverse for a cancer leo cult uh what is this the four powers in reverse whoa 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 hold on hold on hold on tell me send me a card for the child in reverse for can i mean the child for cancer leo cult the four power in reverse is like the four of pentacles in reverse and this is the stars in reverse. Ooh. I don't know which way that had went. That's the uh, Aquarius energy. What? Tell me about crosswords in reverse. She said it should child. And it was a hair of mine. Then I say somebody probably trying to figure out who they going to marry. Who they going to be with. Somebody, this is all they wanted. You could be finding out somebody and they got a chick pregnant. Mm -hmm. You're going to have to accept the fact that this. I don't know what the fuck is dumb shit. Tell me about the moon in reverse. Give me a card for the moon in reverse for Cancer Leo. Oh, damn. Nine of, nine of Cups is in reverse. All this time you were pretending so much for me. And then it's the two of cups is at the bottom of the deck <sighs> in reverse. Somebody didn't got a bitch pregnant. Somebody who didn't probably broke up with somebody wants to come back and have a committed relationship after getting somebody pregnant. And they like, nah, 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 nah. We just going to co-parent. And I don't think you about to, if you think you about to get some type of co-parenting with this person, no. Because they so person purpose of even getting your ass pregnant in the first place was this just to torture you and you gave them what they wanted i i gotta be real with you, you gave food what the hell they wanted they wanted a way to leech on to you forever they wanted to be connected forever hmm Somebody wanted some type of, uh, 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 somebody probably came to you particular for some type of gain, some type of money, some type of influence, some type of status. They wanted to come towards you for that particular reason. They did. That's probably why they're trying to get you pregnant. So they'll forever have a tie towards you. And, uh, It's envy, though. It seems envious that this person or a person is around you or looking at you because of your greatness, the uh, your power, or uh, your how you are. Like, say for instance, how you not scared to address the law. You not scared to address uh, certain behaviors. You challenge. You're not scared scared to challenge things. Somebody probably envy you for this because they probably be like, fuck it, I'm just going to give up. Fuck it, I'm just going to let them do it. Fuck it, I'm just going to let it. I'm going to let it. I'm going to let it. I'm going to let it. You're not scared. You you turned up. You with the shit. Let's get it. That's what you want. You're not scared. You What you want to do, bro? Mm, mm, mm. What am I trying to say? It's like you you you, you are a force on your own. And somebody would think that you got, you know, how people will try to sit up there and say, oh, your family supports you and got your back and da 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 You looking like, who? Cyrus! Get your ass on and go run up in his face again. I'm going to lock you up. Lovely helper. I don't want to use that deck. I don't even use this one. I don't even know why I want to use that one. And 
And that's why he beat your ass, because you won't leave him alone. He trying to lay down, and you keep hopping your ass in his face. Okay, sorry. You can smack her up. She messed with you now? You can smack her up, because I'm done. But it's something, it's, it's, it's like you refusing to let something die. So I still feel a sense that you're refusing to let something go or let something go, uh, die or bury a situation. Uh, it could be with the courts or it could be with a person. I don't know. Live or let die. It's something. It's something you haven't closed the casket on yet. Probably emotionally, financially, something the casket isn't closed yet. Seven of Wands. Yeah, you being very strategic. You're watching, you're lurking, or somebody's watching you. You're. Pe Don't tell me this. Say what I think you say. Why did I thought that said? Why did I think this said Gucci? This, bitch. You probably got a Taurus low key watching you too, or some type of fire sign. They're so low key watching you, hiding that they watching your ass. I feel like people are expecting you to be mad, grieving, and sad and, and sad about the situation. I don't think you're not giving what you're supposed to be giving. <laughs> you know that's the shit that tripped me out when people be expecting you to be like, wah, 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 wah. you sitting up here playing cards. Playing chess at the at the park with all the dope dealers. You know what I'm saying? They up there expecting you to be off in the house crying because they off doing whatever. I don't know. They didn't have a baby by a bitch. Oh, well. Oh, well. Oh, oh, oh. So this picture that's up here. I know I'm like, this picture is up here. It's a clip of me inside of the, the, the movie. Uh, we still family is be released soon, but you can go put it on your Tubi account and press save for when it comes. So you can see me being a little ratchet thotty yaddy in my hood, in my city, I'm crying. So we still family. That's it. We still family. We still family. Okay. That's it. Go look it up on Tubi. Coming soon. Oh, okay. Tell me about the uh, four pinnacles in reverse for the next session. We can't say no Oh, yeah, I really can use this arm, baby. I can use it and smack a hole with it. Six of wins and a star, 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 star. Some of y'all possibly got a court case that you ain't giving up on in a success. At the end of this case, it's going to be very, very fucking successful. Whatever this is, it's going to be very, very successful. This also could be somebody actually seeing success within you, no matter what, what they tried to tear down. They thought was over inconclusive, how they thought that you was still ran through. Whatever the hell they thought, you are going to be successful you're gonna be you you're gonna be getting a lot of attention you probably already getting a lot of attention you probably a lot of real wish fulfillment and you know we went through that time change mixed with a full moon mixed with something else had happened too i'm telling you that day after that time change didn't everybody look like zombies to y'all or was i tripping no i wasn't tripping because too many other people had said it everything was off it's like Y'all ever seen the Lango Lears by yesterday? I mean, by Stephen King? That's what it remind me of. When they wound up being stuck in yesterday. And they had to hurry up and get in the plane because yesterday was getting ate up. They had to hurry up and get on the plane and make it to today. You, you did? That's what it seemed like. We were fucking stuck in yesterday. Everybody was thrown off. And nobody complained about nobody being thrown off because from the rooter to the tutor was thrown the fuck off. It's a success. It's a win here. I'm going to tell you that. Some type of authority situation, some type of law and order, some type of judgment is going in your favor. Yeah, it's about to go in your favor. It's going to... It's, it's going to bring a level of success and wish fulfillment you wasn't expecting. It's going to balance you. It's going to heal you. And this is just somebody actually seeing you healed. You healed from their bullshit. You ignore Ray Charles. Oh, baby, you really Ray Charles. Because you fulfilled 
you might go to an event and be fulfilled in that event. What's going on with this baby information? I mean, this baby situation, this child, what this hell for up here doing? This child, why is the star in reverse clarifying the, clock, the child? I'm going to tell you something else I just got. Some of y'all might have thought y'all was about to be with child with somebody's baby. And y'all thought this was the baby and stuff, but it's not. It's not a child here. You could actually meet somebody that's very inexperienced. It's like, you know, you meet somebody, they like 42, but they don't know how to get head. It's like, what? Or like I had to explain to my homegirl, I was like, well, we have to take it. Uh, uh, we have to really look within when you're dating and you're talking to somebody. Somebody actually, th people actually think you are taught how to pay bills. No, you are not. Men think that women uh, automatically, it's just formed inside of us. No, we paid attention. All of that shit y'all keep saying we nosy about, it wasn't nosy. We was preparing ourselves for adulthood. While y'all was sitting up there trying to knock off all of the cheeks in the world, we was trying to get the fuck out of our parents' house and be able to maintain. Y'all was looking at the wrong shit. Yeah, I was. I was looking at the wrong shit. You was focused on the wrong shit. That's why so many unstable men. It's and then oh, the government takes care of women. No, the government takes care of everybody. It's the ego don't allow men to go get government assistance. So let's clear that right on up. Okay, we're gonna clear that right on up. <laughs> but it seems like somebody is is. It also seemed like somebody tried to have a child to be happy or think they was going to be good in this situation only to find out this is not what they planned, this is not what they wanted, and this is not who they wanted the child by. I don't know. I'm so sick of people in their miserable ass life. But overall, this can be a new start. But see, with the star card in reverse, it was an unsuccessful new start. Somebody is scared. Somebody is unhealed. Somebody cannot match your energy. They can't match your level. They, they can't match you. Because in order for this to work out, somebody has to be on your level. And they are not on your level because they're childish. You're done and moving on. And they're childish and goofy. I guess they're goofy. I don't fucking know. I was just saying. <laughs> Somebody could be manifesting. A halt. On you producing a child. Hmm? Somebody could be dreaming about having a child with you. Or did, this really look like the real nut, though. Now, y'all know who nut is. Nut is the star in the sky. Whatever. But, um, somebody could be on the prowl to have a kid. What, what, what is this star energy about? Here, here, here we go. It's been weeks. And look at here. Look at who's here. <sighs> Why is this star in reverse here, Spirit and Ancestors? But can't feel the what, what What is this going on? Why is the star in reverse for Cancer Leo? I don't like nobody to think like this. It seems like this person think that you're doomed before y'all even start. Then get the fuck on in. Why come waste your time? It's like somebody saying, you too happy for me. What? You gotta go. It's over. Click. What that girl do on TikTok? She said a dude, she was on the phone and the dude to say, hey baby, let's smoke. She was like, click. Hey, baby, let's go. Uh, can I come over to your house? Click. Uh, baby, let's go get ice cream. Click. You know, somebody like that. Just no conversation. No, no nothing. Like, ugh. Why would I want you? Why are you here? Why are you talking to me? Tell me about the star in reverse, Spirit and Ancestors, because this is just diabolical. Eight of Cups. I'd have ate a cut for the star in reverse. 
It's the Pentecost is in reverse. I heard it through the paper that you ain't feeling too far. Well, I hope that you feel much better, cause I do. Ooh, that was the music back then. Come on, 90s. Tell me about the eight. Okay. The two of Pentacles. And the Ace of Wands. So I see the Ace of Cups at the bottom of the deck and the Ace of Wands. Now, it's been somebody real horny for y'all for a minute now. Somebody could just be mad that you walked away. You left something behind. You left them behind. Somebody probably left this situation because they was juggling two people. And then what happened after they juggled two people? What 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 that had happened? Because now we enter into the tools and the crossroads. A tower. Look what happened. Bitch, there you go then. That's what you get for juggling, bitch. And then you want to make it everybody else's problem. I'm going to do a straight marital reading. The Eight of Pentacles is in reverse. It did not fucking work out wherever the fuck this person thought they was walking off to uh uh you wasn't enough you ain't you ain't lick they middle finger you didn't rub they big head while they went to sleep they went to a little goofy goofy thing they went to a child-minded person this ain't nobody having no kid this nigga this is somebody who went to a child and had to leave that fucking child juggled you with a child dr our motherfucking dacity. You stupid bitch. Look. Look at you like you stupid fat hobbit. I feel like this is a real greedy individual. This person seems greedy to me. I feel greed in this reading. I do. But with this crossroads, you got a decision to make. You, they had a decision to make, and they chose to go forward with a childlike-minded person. Somebody, and I'm about to say something that's going to throw y'all off and probably even confuse y'all, and I don't even know where it's going. Somebody is a perv. Somebody is a big 50-year-old trying to be with a 20-year-old, some stupid shit like that. And all those society like to justify that bullshit, it's unjustifiable to me. Because it seems like they're manipulating this child. It seems very, very, um, demure. No, it seems really, real, real manipulative, okay? Because they're not fulfilled with them. They're just... It's like they're trying to use them. They're juggling them to get something from them, especially with this power in reverse. They out here on a, a power trip. So they can't match the energy of someone their age. They can't because she's not about to play the game. He, she, them, they, they're it. You know what I'm saying? That she, they not about to play the game. Somebody on their level, their age group is not about to play that game. So they went with a child, seemed like. But they walked away from that child because things wasn't working. Something didn't go right. A tower happened with them and that child just like, well, I don't know, man. I'm going to figure out these dumbass people. And now they're at the crossroads about religion or marriage or commitment. They're looking for something that look a certain kind of way to them. This is someone who actually worry about what other people's opinions. And that's why you y'all could never get along. I, I, I bet you, because you don't give a fuck, because in your head, the Leo in you is, you the baddest. I know, that's what's in my head. I don't give a fuck what a hoe got to say. I said this before I even knew who I was. I don't care how young, old, bad, rich or poor bitch is, she can't fuck with me. What gorilla say these hoes can't fuck with you? Get out your head, these hoes can't fuck with you. Because divinely divinely on the divinely level they cannot fuck with you your soul your purity your authenticness they cannot fuck with you them bitches them ninjas they got on all of the material in the world but they cannot fuck with you See, that's the thing. These is people that live beyond their means. You live within your means. So when somebody get to knowing them and figuring them the fuck out, they realize they ain't got shit. They ain't got nothing going on. They need whole reconstructive surgery of their life. 
right? And you sitting up here living underneath your means because you don't require much. But when you show out, you ball out and you show out because you know why? Because you're not overextending yourself to please society. That's why when you do show the fuck out, that's like I was just telling my cousin. What's that? Oh, that's my cousin. I was telling my cousin, like, I'm not going to sit up there and go to Miami. Everybody want to go to Miami and go to Atlanta. I'm like, I'm going to Vermont. What the fuck is in Vermont? Let's go to Vermont. Let's go talk to the black people in Vermont and get in the water. I don't know. Something, anything. I'm not about to go. Let's, what's, what's in North Dakota? Let's go up there and see how the black people doing up there. But I'm not about to sit up there and go where everybody else go. No. And this is why envy creeps in. Cause you the you you the set it the trend. Got everybody thinking about Vermont now. What nobody thinking about no Maine? What is we doing in Maine? Ain't nothing in Maine but grass and apples. This lady in Maine getting in jacuzzis and getting her back rubbed and flying in the trees and riding horses. Now everybody want to ride horses and flying trees. See, you set the trend that pisses people the fuck off. Now you have to, you could, you could be at a spiritual crossroads. Some of y'all could be giving us your spirituality or at a crossroads in your damn marriage. Cause, cause a lot of y'all think marriage mean get beat up, dog walk, slap, kick, rolled on, cheated on, spit on, orgies, all types of shit in the name of a title. Yeah, I wanted a woman. I don't got time for that goofy shit. That's goofy shit to me. If you think your ancestors and spirit put your ass here to be dogged, I don't know what to tell y'all. I, I think I'm sick of telling y'all stuff. Because it's like, if you think that little of yourself, who am I to tell you anything different? Tell me about this terrifying. Y'all the crossroads in a, a, a commitment, a marriage, a union, or your spirituality. Or your spirituality. And y'all be punk fake and happiness. The Ten of Cups. And the Three of Pentacles. Yeah, y'all punk fake and happiness. So some of y'all fake and happiness for this partner. It, it, it ain't even a partnership. I don't even know what this is. Oh, I was supposed to look the hair fine up real fast. Oh, that's some damn kids outside. Oh, she done fell asleep playing with her toy. Aww. Man, I ain't never got put on my back the way I got put on my back with this because this, this like my sister, my daughter, and then, you know, I'm be telling my son nothing because the way he go off on you, I can't take it. And then he'll cuss like when the cat when when um when King was murdered, and then he cussed at me, I had to go outside and cry. I ain't gonna lie, and and, and I knew I knew the only reason why he had cussed is because he was mad, he was hurt about the situation too. Cause all he had said, "Why the fuck did you leave him outside?" But you know how he said, it like he old daddy. He said it like he my daddy or something. And my daddy don't cuss, but I took it as if he was my daddy or my uncle or my, you know, my big brother or something. Like, what the fuck would you do that for? Cause he did it and he left, and I and and I took it, I received it. But you know, he was apologetic about it, but he was emotional about it. And I, I felt him because we all, I, I was distraught when King died. Like, that, they were mad. Yes, they is. But they knew they had to square up because I flew next door to fight. They knew what was up. Because they know what's up when I say call my sister or call my best friend. That's it. Because somebody about to have to come get me. That's it. Somebody got to fucking come get me because I'm about to turn this motherfucker out. And what? Nobody at that goddamn house, y'all. See, you see how spirit be coming saving hoes. What nobody at that house. So a couple hours later, the little girl came to the door. Their daughter came to my door. She was like 19 at the time. She was like, um, my dog killed your cat. I was like, I know, baby. Just talk to me when your parents get here. Let me know when your parents get home. She was like, okay. Because I know she was like scared, but whatever. But you could tell. What made 
made me think about King, though. Why did that just come up? And what am I supposed to be doing, y'all? Look how fast I done got distracted. Oh, I was looking up the hair fine in here. Didn't we read it before? Stubborn, strength, toil, endurance, manifestation, explanation, teaching, goodness of heart, help from superiors, patience, and organization. Peace. And did it my way. You know what I feel like here? You got a you got an opportunity to either listen to spirit and be patient and allow spirit to lead you or go do what the fuck you want to do. Do the fuck do, I don't know. Do what you want to do. And then see how spirit reacts to it. But honestly, I think some of y'all about to have a baby. I don't know what else to say. Somebody about to have a baby around you, somebody you know. It's a child coming, y'all. Because the last time I had this feeling, I started talking. Oh, my God. I started talking to the same cousin. And she wound up being pregnant. So, she didn't got the... It would have been her seventh child. So she went and unalived her baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. she unalived that baby. She showed the heck did. And um, got the fixings. She got herself fixed. And, and, and I'm going to tell y'all, for you people who sit up there and think that you fixed, no. What's Smeagol say? No. You're not fixed. What's divinely orchestrated is nothing you can do when source come in, when, when, when the beginning, when matter, when the original being comes in and say, shoot, shoot that baby in you. It's nothing you can do. You're going to be just like my friend in high school when she was sitting up there in the doctor. We ran into each other at the doctor's office. And she was like, girl, can you believe I'm pregnant? And I'm like, what? What's wrong with being pregnant? Because we was young still. She was like, I got six kids. And I'm like, you got six kids by who? Because, you know, she was one of them church girls. So it's like, who was you fucking? That, that many times. <laughs> she was like, girl, I got my tools tied with my uh sixth child. I don't see how the fuck they sitting up here talking about I'm pregnant. And sure enough, baby. Them babies, that baby came out. Show sure did. That baby came out and said, hey, how you doing? I clarify this three of pentacles in reverse. There's something weird about this. This is like a couple keeping it together for appearance. Because I feel weird about this. A queen of swords in reverse. Here we go. A bitter bitch. Always lurking around the corner. Talking some stupid shit to somebody. Maybe this is somebody in your family. This this probably is exactly that. A couple that's just here for the commitment or the marriage or for the family stability. But it's not a real partnership. They both are all doing their own thing. It's a bitterness here. It's a fight. It's a rage within this woman. It feel like somebody, it could be somebody at your job too. It could be somebody who this, uh, I, somebody was in a partnership with somebody and this bitch is going crazy. She, let's see who she is. We about to see who this bitch is going here. It's like what Vaughn said. When uh, Vaughn said this bitch is sick as fuck. I'm saying this bitch is sick as fuck. What's going on with this Queen of Swords in reverse, Spirit and Ancestors for Cancer Leo? What's the Queen of Swords? Healthy choices. How is that a healthy choice? I don't get it. Tell me about this Queen of Swords in reverse. Uh, 
coming back between you. Addiction. What? See, this is mixed signals. It, somebody torn. This is a torn energy. Somebody is uh, uh, torn between the better choice and uh, an addiction. So, uh, this is karmic. This reading is fucking karmic as hell. It's an emotional block attached to this situation. Some of y'all could be emotionally blocked. Y'all don't, nobody appeases you. Everybody ugly. Like, ugh, don't talk to me. Don't touch me. Don't talk too loud to me. Uh, don't do that. Y'all really could be on that, like, antsy, ugh, leave me alone kind of energy. And people assume that you're this bitter individual, but you're not bitter. You don't want to be bothered. It, because of your intuition is so high, that, do you see the, the bullshit? And you don't want to be bothered. So now you got to be crucified for not wanting to be bothered, for being happy, being alone. I know that's my problem. I'm like, what is that? Why I got to be with a man to be happy? Well, who came up with that logic? Anyway, a priestess usually is alone. Well, you, you, let's be real. A priestess usually is alone. She probably got a sad nigga in the attic somewhere. But other than that, psh, me claim you not never. I feel like this is someone who probably didn't put an end to all of this codependent shit and choosing to love you. You at the crossroads with loving yourself and part, uh, like, it's like in order to be in a partnership, you have to defy yourself and you like no more. You're not doing that no more. Like, if I got to disrespect myself, belittle myself, uh, restrain myself, control myself, if I got to control my emotions, if I can't just be naturally and authentically in love and passionate or me around you, you can get the... You're out of here, bitch. It's like you sick of all of these people that got habits, addictions... Uh, they they all need an oil change. They don't they they don't at least have a oil change. You know what I'm saying? They check engine light, need an oil change, tire flat. Okay, got a dent in the fucking door, paint peeling, bitch, window crack. You know what I'm saying? Shit, the whole motor knocking. The lights blinking because the alternator draining the battery. I mean, what the fuck? It's just all types of dysfunctional shit going on with the bitch. It can't just never be a car unused. Like, why? Why, why can't you have an unused car? <laughs> and that's why you're choosing to self-love is here for you. And I'm going to tell you something. It's a bitch out here that envies your self-love, too. Your beauty. Your status. Look, I'm sick of all of these hoes, y'all. Why is the moon in reverse? And, and the moon in reverse for happiness. This is because this is creed and greed. Creed and greed. This is somebody looking for a particular something. It went towards that particular something, that creed and greed, and wound up with nothing. That's why they're unfulfilled. It's like, I got so many stories going on. Somebody tried to, thought they was playing you, and, and, and you wound up happy, and they seen your ass out on the block, and you was living your best life. Somebody tried to play in your face in court, and fucked around, and found out that you was law and order. Somebody tried to get you pregnant. Boop, you got got. Somebody got the fucking with a little kid. Boop, got got. Or somebody got somebody else pregnant and tried to dish the bitch, okay? Ain't nothing working in they fucking life. It's like every time they try to do something, it's a constant no. Then you at the crossroads. You at the crossroads. They at the crossroads. You at a spiritual crossroad in your life. If you going to wait on the divine and give and pour into your doggone family, Are you cutting off these partnerships that mean you no good? Or is somebody that's in a partnership, a family dynamic with somebody, but they don't feel it's a partnership. It's a broken lease, okay? And a bitch is enraged. Somebody got cut the fuck off because somebody want to make healthy choices. And this bitch is addicted. This bitch sick as fuck. If you look me in the eyes. 
and tell me that you're happy now. <laughs> but I heard it through the grapevine that you was feeling too fine. I hope that you feel much better, bitch, because I do. You looked into my eyes. You said to me that night that you would never cheat on me or break my heart. Hey, yes, I never knew your love was so untrue. I thought that I was your only, boy, was I wrong, so wrong. Never do nothing that'll catch up to you. You did me wrong, you told me like I'm about to blast that shit. Never do something that you know you regret. You hurt me so bad, baby. Deep in my heart, I felt something for you. You had to lose a damn good thing. Loving me could have been good. Losing my love was a shame, baby. Ooh, they blew that bitch down. Look at it. Now look at me. Look at me now. Hey, look at me now. This is some good. This is some cancer shit. Could you, you know how many times I didn't get out the car like this? I got out the car like this with my daughter prom like it was mine. Yep, I was. I was the butler or the chauffeur. Who the one that drive? You know, like on Cinderella? Because she wore that Cinderella dress. And then, yeah, all that stuff. <laughs> anyway, what's going on with this This happiness in reverse? Why is happiness in reverse for Cancer Leo? Because spirit and ancestors, tell me about happiness in reverse for the Coxers. Ace of Cups. Ooh. Look at that Ten of Swords. Ooh, somebody want to start over. Somebody happy and they want another chance. They like, fuck this shit, I'm out. <laughs> Why the Ace of Cups for the Nine of Happiness? The Nine of Cups in reverse. Why the Ace of Cups? The Nine of Wands is in reverse. I told you, they like, fuck this shit, I want out. Fuck this. I don't want to be here. I don't want to be here. How did you get here? Yeah, they don't want to be there. They want to do over with what they know, what they had, who they was with. See, they fucked around and found out. They thought this bitch was so nice and so sweet and so beautiful. And they found out that this bitch is nuts. Honestly, somebody just need to grow up. Because this, this crossroad energy been going on for a minute, this indecisive bull crap, this boils down to somebody needing to grow the fuck up. Make a decision, stand on it, and carry it out. Execute it. Stop leaving little bitty doors open and doors crack. What, what Bruno said, I'm going to leave the door open. I ain't leaving shit open. Don't even sit on my porch, okay? Stop allowing people to sit on your porch. Yeah, uh-huh. Cause, cause, cause if they appreciated you, and I know it's hard for this to take people, it's hard to take this in because everybody's been done before. Everybody made a mistake. Everybody deserves a second chance. Yes, by God, not me. By your mama, not me. Because the second chance turns into a third chance. The third chance turns into a fourth chance, and that's how you wind up getting the shit knocked out of you. So, like, just keep the peace and be done. Mm hmm. That's how it go. Because they see you're going to keep letting them be a revolving door. So why not knock you upside your head? Let's just be, let's, let's just be gutter. Let's be grown ass gutter about this situation. Because all they doing is building you up to diminish you in the first place. To, for you to be 100% diminished so they can just put the final stamp on the coffin. And beat your er, Me too. Y'all be up here getting the crap. That bitch in that parking lot the other day. I couldn't even believe it was happening. The, um, the, um, what you call them people? The office couldn't even believe it. I heard them talking. How they was sitting up there and saying, we ain't had no drama around here in a long time. Da, da, da. They said they put all of the drama people out. This and this and that and that. And that lady kicked that man ass at that part. Mm-hmm, sure did. She beat it good. She beat it good. She tore him down. She did he must ain't had no car because I see her going straight after that mud. But, uh, no, she she's beating the crap out that man. 
And, and you know how he ain't want to put his hands on her, but she, your dad had to be my son. I would have came in there with one foot and karate kicked her like I was the Ninja Turtle. If you don't get the fuck about my boy, because it's like he was trying not to hit the woman. He kept like trying to put her in the headlock, sit on her. He was doing all types of shit. <laughs> she was blowing that nigga shit back. And I'm like, uh-uh, no, nah, I can't take I couldn't take it for him. I, I just wanted him to just knock her to the ground. So, smack her, something. Because she was just, it did it. It be one of them bitches that fight like a nigga, like Krishan. Like when Blueface put her to the ground, he kept trying not to hit her. Then he just was like, whoop. Bitch hit the ground. This year. Then that day in the car, she kept trying to jump out the dog on car. He kept telling her to stop. Kept telling her to stop. She ain't stop. Wobble. Then she gonna go like, oh, you hit me in my face, dude. And he's like, stop trying to jump out the car. And you can see, you can see the car door open and them look like they flying down the expressway. So he blew her shit back. And I don't blame him. You know, the charges I would he would have had to face more than what he facing now. I feel like they tried to hide the fact that that they were happy. They, I mean, they tried to make it seem like they were happy. They were successful. They they had all this shit going the fuck on in their life, and they, they didn't. They tried to compare themselves to you and how happy you was because somewhere in this person's energy, in this person's life, they seen you doing good, evolving, or you came into a rebirth with this coughing energy. But it halted their rebirth. They wanted to go on that journey with you, but it didn't go like that. Because they came in to go on the journey with you for self-gain. You wasn't looking for a me, me, me motherfucker. You was looking for a us. And when you found out they was a me, 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 you decided to make what? Healthy choices for yourself. So in order for you to completely uh, ascend, you had to release your addictive behavior. Your addictive behavior was one of your fucking karmics playing these diabolical ass games with you. Okay? Because that's exactly what this person, they play uh, uh, marital games with you. That's what they do. They use marriage and relationships, maybe even religion and fulfillment over your head. Probably the court system. They probably put a child over your head. You can't see your child unless you suck my middle finger. Stupid, stupid shit. And you men, y'all gonna learn to do better to stop allowing that shit. Take that hold of court. Fuck her. And I'm not saying that to be disrespectful to the woman, but if you want to play mind games with the nigga, then he can play them back. Bitch, he can play with them in court. Stop sitting up there making arrangements with a woman without getting that shit signed on paper and notarized. If she sit up there and say you can keep the kids every weekend, make sure she sign a piece of paper and make sure y'all asses go get that shit notarized. If that nigga say he about to give you $150 every week for the, 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 the little runt, then make him sign some other the fucking paperwork and get it notarized so when you go to court because he he, he didn't he, he didn't went mia it's sealed it's nothing he can fucking say it's nothing she can say this is what she agreed and i and, and, and come back here and let me know if the judge don't stand on that fucking i don't care if you i'm a notary uh, a notary i don't care if you dump the piece of paper from up under a piece of carpet. If it's that whole signature and your signature. But see, this is the difference between me and probably a lot of notaries. Bitch, I'm not just getting uh, uh, your signature. Because the signature can be... Um, you can argue the signature in court. But what you can't argue is a motherfucker fingerprint. <laughs> My book come with a fingerprint. And bitch, it with a little white note. The light... Thing, cause you will have no residue on your finger either, bitch. Stamp it, cause you will never get me caught up. <sighs> and I see what I see. Oh, what was I about to say? I don't think this person, I feel like you move in silent too with this energy. You don't boast on yourself. You're not always talking about me, me, me. You're not a me, 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 me person. I think that's what this person probably was. The, the energy of the person you dealt with was a me, 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 me person. And you're not that. You're not looking for that. You don't inspire us to be that. And you don't have time for that. Neither do I, motherfucker. 
Tell me more about this Knight of Wands in reverse. Oh. It was the Five of Cups. Well, tell me about this Nine of, nine of Happiness in reverse. I mean, yeah, okay. See, Seven of Swords, they want to confess. Now somebody wants to confess everything that happened. Somebody was in denial. I feel like this is somebody who was in denial. Somebody was in denial of your, your, um, your strength, your ability, how protected you is, and how much their growth mattered through was based off of being with you. Not saying in order for them to evolve and grow was based off of you, but in order for them to evolve and grow, it was based off of how they treated you. Because like I said, they could come keep it real with you and tell you, go fuck off, I don't want to fuck with you no more, or they could sit up there and be good to you. And people choose to be bad to you and don't want to face the repercussions of their dirty game. Tell me about the seven of swords in reverse. What is these confessions? Cool. What's the confessions? These are my confessions. You don't want that kind of new love either. This person probably came and offered you new love, a new opportunity, a second chance. He, he, she, them, there, there was ran through. They was manipulative and now they want to confess everything that happened. See? Betrayal. Get the fuck off my motherfucking table. What's the outcome for this shit? David, I love y'all. Unbother. No, so no, so you're not allowed. And the Queen of Wines, bitch. So, so somehow, some way, y'all didn't got in touch with each other. Y'all didn't expose this bitch, and it feels like the all y'all that came together and realized that y'all both was play. That's what I'm talking about, girl power. Power to the sisters. Y'all that came together and fucked around and found out what, what however she was, y'all found out the secret has been revealed. It's out. Bitch, this bitch will hold better at the door. And you and your Queen of Cups or Queen of Wands, both energy. This you and your Leo side ain't being bothered. Ray Charles ain't being bothered. Don't got time. It ain't got nothing to do with you ain't living your best life or you sitting around moping. It's just you ain't got time. And ain't that who came out at the end of the day when I cut that mug? Why the Queen of Cups in reverse for the outcome? Page of Wines, good news, bitch, a conversation. What's the conversation, Pooh? Mm -hmm. tell, tell, tell us the messages. Tell me about these messages for the Queen of Cubs. A mm hum, -hmm. uh -huh, man, and lovers in reverse. That's good news. Somebody that made a decision. You're probably going to be contacted from a lover that you feel the love is unacquired. Okay. Tell me about this Queen of Wands in reverse. A Leo that's mad as hell. That bitch mad. It's like the, the dawn of a new day is gone. Why is the Queen of Wands in reverse for the, the three of wands is here? Getting gossip. Got, it's gossip going on about this, three of, this Queen of Wands. What's being gossip about? What's tea on the Queen of Wands in reverse? The two of wands. She she's to move forward too. She mad as hell, but she moving forward doing her thing. She decided. Y'all go, girls. It seemed like the sisters girls then came together and said, fuck that nigga. Peace.